Hi friends, welcome back to you in my YouTube channel Pharma Inspire Life. Today we are diving into the crucial topic in the pharmaceutical industry, the content of investigation report. As we know, the investigation process is crucial in our field, involving the customer responses, audit responses, complaints, deviations and OSOT investigations. So first we will see the what is an investigation. The investigation is a systematic process to inspect or examine the data, conduct the evaluation to determine the root causes, assess the product impact and identify the kappa to prevent the future failures. Next we will see the six step approach for the investigation. First is event assessment and immediate actions. Second is a data collection. Third is a perform the analysis, then impact and risk assessment. Further, you need to decide the kappa and report compilation. Then last is effectiveness check. Friends, each of these step is a topic on its own. So we will cover them in detail in the upcoming videos. Further, we will see our today's topic content of an investigation report writing. Here are the minimum points you should cover during the investigation report writing. Description of event immediate corrections, team formation, background, data collection, root cause assessment, impact assessment, batch disposition, corrective and preventive actions, summary and conclusion, list of attachment and last team approval and signatures. Including these points, ensure you cover all the aspects of investigation, making it easier to understand and explain during the audits. I also recommended prepare a fixed format for the investigation report to streamline the process. Let's break down each point in detail. First is description of event. Use the 5W1H method to explain the event description. What happened? When happened? Where happened? Which impacted? Who identifies and how identifies? This technique provides a comprehensive event description. Don't forget to include the event identification number as per your procedure. Also, you need to mention the date of identification and date of occurrence. Next is immediate action and team formation. Detail the immediate actions taken for the specific event. If you conducted a Gemba walk or visited the actual place, include this information also. Form an investigation team with cross-functional members necessary for resolving the non-conformances. Then further you need to include the background and data collection details. Collect the chronological data and evidences, including the photographs. Define the investigation boundary to focus on the relevant product or issue, ensuring a thorough and focused investigation. Further root cause summary. This is the heart of your investigation report. Detail the root cause assessment, findings and evidence you need to mention in your investigation report. Use a tool like brainstorming, 5i, Fismo diagrams, all the tools and their details you need to mention in the investigation report. Also you need to include the root cause findings, categories and specific root cause identified. Impact assessment and batch disposition. Conduct a risk assessment and determine the product's impact on quality. Decide on batch disposition, whether it is release, reject, reprocess or rework. This section is crucial for auditors. Then next is kappa. Include the detailed kappa findings in the investigation report. Summary and conclusion. Provide a concise and comprehensive summary for the investigation findings. This section is helpful quickly understand the investigation during the audits or discussions. Then last is the team approval and list of annexures. Include the brief about the list of attachment for the easy understanding of the annexures and details and take approval of investigation team. So friends, that's all about the content and bullet points for writing an investigation report. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more updates on the pharmaceutical topics. Thank you.